In verse 4, the poet says, Sarla Devi, Kusumbala, Rani Devi, all of ill fame. I read your story in the morning paper. You refuse to wear ankle bells worn for generations. You study law, you hear cat calls in the street, drums and bells behind your books. Sitting alone in a Bombay restaurant, listening to the innuendos of college clerks and a loose-lipped Spanish priest, I know something of how you feel. Here we see that Eunice de Souza gives the names of three women who are described as women of ill fame or bad reputation. She had read their story in the morning newspaper. They are probably headliners. They refuse to wear ankle bells worn for generations. They study law. These Women are probably prostitutes, but they study law in the daytime. This shows that they have a mind of their own. They refuse to wear ankle bells worn for generations. They refuse to be tied down by tradition. We don't know why they became women of ill fame, perhaps to sponsor their study of law or perhaps to support themselves or maybe they were forced into the profession. As it is, they are studying law, hoping to someday help people by being lawyers. They are rebellious. They refuse to wear ankle bells worn for generations. Perhaps because of the profession which they have taken up, perhaps because of the bad reputation that they have, whenever they would walk on the streets, they would hear catcalls. They would hear drums and bells behind their books. Sitting alone in a Bombay restaurant, listening to the innuendos of college clerks and a loose-lipped Spanish priest, I know something of how you feel, says the poet. Here we see the picture of the poetess sitting in a Bombay restaurant and listening to the innuendos of college clerks and a loose-lipped Spanish priest. Priests are supposed to be people who are better than the rest. They are supposed to show compassion and understanding and to lead people away from the bad life. But this Spanish priest, like the college clerks, make fun of these women of bad reputation. Instead of trying to help them get out of their bad lifestyle, they make jokes about them and talk badly about them. The poetess said, I know something of how you feel. She feels sorry for these women because they also have a story to tell. She says, I know something of how you feel. Eunice D'Souza has always been a voice for the voiceless. She speaks for those who cannot speak for themselves, especially women.